When you want people to share your message, make them mad, not sad. This is a tip that comes from Jonah Berger's Contagious Why Things Catch On, where he studied virality online. Why do things go viral? It's not just because people are laughing. There's a lot more involved. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how to kindle the fire versus stifling the fire so people will share your uh, marketing sales message like wildfire. My name is Kirk Double K Barbera, and this is your business book tip of the day. Emotional sharing is like the social glue for our relationships. One of the things that uh, Jonah Berger discovered and other psychologists is that as human beings, we share cert- based on certain emotions and not others. So uh, people are more likely to share when they're mad and not likely to share when they're sad. And well, one of the reasons, and I'll read one of the business book tips here, one of the reasons people share is to help them connect. Think of it this way. This is a quote from Jonah Berger. If we get promoted, telling others helps us celebrate. Uh, emotion sharing is, that, is thus a bit like social glue, maintaining and strengthening relationships. Now, when we are suffering from sadness or heartbreak, we tend to power down and get shut off from the world. We don't tell people why we're sad. We don't explain things to people when we, you know, we've um, had a tragedy or a, you know, a pet dies or someone breaks up with us or you know, we, we uh, experience a death in the family. A lot of times people close in and they don't talk about their emotions. But if you get them really mad about something, they're very likely to, you know, out be outspoken and say, I can't believe, you know, uh, the president did this, or I can't believe the senator did that, or I can't, whatever it is, people are very much more likely to share the message, to talk about the message if they're pissed off. Jonah Berger created a matrix to help you understand which emotions are more likely to get your customers, your friends, you, the people in your community to share your message to their friends and community, and certain emotions that will get them to power down and not talk about your message. So that when you're creating a, uh, your marketing message, when you're trying to get people excited about what you do, keep this matrix in mind. And he discovered that there are uh, you know, positive and negative emotions, and then there are high arousal and low arousal emotions. And so a, a negative high arousal emotion is actually something like uh, anger, which gets people to uh, you know, talk about something even if they're angry. So you may think, well, why would I ever want somebody to get angry? Well, if you're trying to get them angry about something that you're both on the same page about, you know, let's say you're in a think tank or you're um, you know, you're working on some government policy and it's your job to try to instigate, you know, movement in the community, you might want to think about how to get them angry about some issue. How can I get my team or the, the people in my community really upset about something? And then that, those people will share that story of how upset they are. Another negative high arousal is anxiety. Now, there are also positive high arousal. For instance, awe, excitement, and amusement. This is one of the reasons why funny memes and and videos get shared so much. But we tend to believe that only funny things get shared, and that's absolutely not true. In fact, right here, you'll see I wrote an article, Stop Trying to Be Funny on Social Media, Do This Instead. So go check out that article if you're interested. You can just Google Stop Trying to Be Funny on Social Media. I'll also put it in the links, the, uh, the comments below. The point is that you, being funny is not necessarily what actually gets people to share your message. It's not like you put a cat video being scared by cucumbers and all of a sudden everyone's going to share your message to the world. It's much more complicated than that. And the arousal uh, emotion, the, the emotional arousal, the psychology of it is the amusement um, is a positive high arousal uh, trait. Now, on the low arousal side is contentment and sadness. Now, there's other emotions, but think of it in that way. When someone's content, they're just all right with whatever they have, whether, whether it's their house, their living situation, their car, their uh, you know, clothes, whatever, they're not very likely to take an action. And they're definitely not likely to share what's going on. If, if they're content with certain, you know, uh, their tax advisor, they're not going to go you know, talk about that person 
and they're not going to go to another tax advisor. They're just, they're content. They're just going to mm, stay cool, right? So the point is when you're building a business, or when you're trying to get your message, you know, across, try to think about how to make it in the high arousal, either positive or negative emotions. Now, as a last thing, just a basic tip is thinking about that activation um, psychology and the emotions that activate people to take action. Here's an example, uh, again, from the article I referenced earlier of a woman named Susan Boyle. Now, Susan Boyle was, you know, a, is a frumpy kind of, you know, middle-aged woman, and she went on Britain's Got Talent. And an amazing thing happened and uh, where, where she kind of you know shocked everybody that you should definitely watch this video it's about six minutes but what's even more amazing is that this is one of the most shared videos ever and the reason it was so shared is it wasn't funny it wasn't sad although people cried it didn't you know there was no contentment there's no anxiety it did something by activating or by making people in awe of what just happened. And I really recommend studying that piece a little bit, looking at each of the elements of the video and, and what Britain's Got Talent did to really make the viewer in awe of her. They, you know, that, that type of feeling of standing you know, in front of um, you know, the, the I don't know, the Grand Canyon or something, and you feel a feeling of awe, you also feel that when people do great feats. And that's what Susan Boyle did. I'll let you watch to see what she did. But the point is, there's many ways to make your marketing message uh, contagious so that it catches on, you know, it kindles and it catches on like wildfire. And one of the ways is not, is to actually uh, kindle the fire through awe or excitement, rather than just trying to make something funny. So that was your business book tip of the day. And remember, reading is not a passive sport. It's an active contact sport. So go out there, make some contact with books.